Pitching with a man on second, nobody out. B.J. Suroff is at the plate. There's a fly ball into left field, and Alomar's going to be tagging. Here comes Robbie. Brian Giles, good throw. Very, very close. The base running would cost him because the next batter would homer. Now in the top of the third, Orioles, some more mental mistakes. A double steal. Lenny Webster going to second. Richie Sexton never checked the runner. Everybody got all Sexton's out. David Justice scored. Indians up 4-1. In the sixth, still 4-1, Alomar trying to atone for his sin, takes one out, but no, Lofton brings it back. Take another look at this one. This was up, out, and I think not. Kenny Lofton scaling the wall to bring it back. Cal Ripken Jr. standing in. He fights one off of Jarrett Wright, knocks it into right. That breaks Butch Robinson's record for most hits in Orioles history, 2,849. The crowd gave him a standing O. Top eight is now 4-3 Indians. Omar Vizquel with the bases loaded. The O's make another mistake. Jesse Orozco balked, balked, pretty obvious, it's for justice, Indians lead 5-3, ninth inning, sex it up and over, Yamo will be there, stuck the landing, but still the Russian judge gave him only a 4.2, sex in that time, falling over the tarp, he did make the catch that time, did not the first time when he fell into the dugout, at any rate, the Indians go on to win this thing, 6-3, against Damon Buford and there it goes his ninth home run of the year it's a three-run shot and Boston's up by the score of three nothing four batters later Tom Kelly comes out with the hook Milton not pleased about coming out but he walked five batters in just one and two-thirds giving up three runs no more Garcia par another big night went three for five this is his 26th home run he drove in four runs in the game he's now over 100 RBIs on the year it's seven nothing Boston Steve Avery starting to come alive for the Sox on the mound. In the bottom of the fourth, Brent Gates, the line drive. Mike Benjamin going high to make the grab. Then Marty Cordova to short. Garcia Parra, look at that arm in time. Avery goes seven innings, gives up four hits, and just one earned run as the Sox win it by the final score of nine. Eliza gets Chuck Knobloch, top of the first, and that's the way to get things started if you're a Yankee supporter or a Yankee player. Knobloch, third pitch of the game, his 17th homer, Yankees up 1-0. Top three, Brocious lines to third, Zeal makes the play, and, you know, I think there might have been some operator error involved. Brocious throwing away clothes, he's throwing away bats, he, he's in clean-out mode. Top four, Loaiza against Tino Martinez. It's not the size of the stick, it's all about finding the sweet spot. Number 20 for Tino, first of two jobs on the night. He's driven in 100 now, Yankees up 2-0. Bottom four, Roberto Kelly. Smokes one to left center. Daryl Strawberry fields forever. Bottom fifth, Yankees up 3 0, two on, two out. David Wells, Joyce Clayton. Bottom of the sixth, two on, two out. Pudge, sit on it. Yankees win it by a count of 5 0, and Wells was absolutely spectacular. 16 and 2 now on the season. It's his fourth shutout of the year. Houston, Fernando Vina at the plate. Bill Pulsifer's at first after a two-out single off the bat of Pulsifer. But Pulsifer, not accustomed to the directions and customs on the base paths. Yes, we must touch each base. So he had to stop at second rather than going to third. But the next batter, Marquise Grissom. Marquise has got his back. One for four, he drove in a run. Pulsifer would come in to score. And Houston's lead was cut to 2-1. Pulse for sliding, making sure his pants get dirty. More, more. Look, wants to look good. Top Tony of the Eusebio six, still 2-1. Tony Eusebio against Pulsifer. Pulsifer sawed him off, but Eusebio knocked him Bagwell. 3-1 Houston. Top nine is 3-2 Astros. Richard Hidalgo, he is a lumberjack, and he's okay. Number three on the year for him. Three for five. Couple of RBIs on the night. Despite hitting 12 of 15 balls for homers during batting practice, McGuire starting the game in the dugout, and the fans bob it. Top of the fifth, 2 0 Cards base is loaded for John Mabry. Grounder to first, John Olerud starts the double play. 3 2 3 if you're scoring at home, but if you're sitting at home scoring Sports Center highlights, seek counseling immediately. Bottom of the fifth, Lenny Harris with the Mets down 2 0. A two-run shot that evens it up. Harris three for three in the game, just his second homer of the year. Top of the six now, three, two cards. Delano to Shields, grounder to first. Olaru throws home. Eli Marrero caught in the rundown, but Matt Franco holds the ball a bit too long, and Marrero's in there safely. It's 4-2 St. Louis. Bottom of the eighth, Mets cut the lead to 6-5. Runner on third, two outs. George Fabergas grounder to first. And that ends the threat. Fabergas 0 for four in the game. Top of the ninth now, 7-5, two on. McGuire. Pinch hitting for just the second time this year. Rips one past Edgardo Alfonso goes into the crowd.
Pat Kelly scores. It's a ground rule double, eight five cards. And they line up for this one. And there's a long one. To Bottom of the first, Edgardo Alfonso off Manny Ibar, who was activated between games. His 10th, it's 1 0 in favor of the Mets. Top of the third, still 1 0. John That'll Mabry up there with right none on, two out. Armando Outside Reynoso target. walks. Mabry, McGuire up there next. Would McGuire make him pay? Well, Mabry not. Reynoso strikes him out, no harm done. Top of the fifth, McGuire on deck again. None out. None on, rather, and two outs, and Reynoso walks Mabry. Reynoso walks six in the game. Now Big Mac, another chance to make him pay, and strikes out looking. So Reynoso's walks didn't hurt him. Top of the sixth. Cards, runners out second and third, one out. Tom Lampkin, who's 0 for 2, bouncing weekly to Reynoso. Ron Gant trapped in the rundown, and this time the Mets execute it correctly. Reynoso getting out of the inning. Top of the seventh, still 1-0. One, one more chance for McGuire. Thinks it's a walk, but it's strike three. McGuire came three times in the game as the Mets win it. Salvaging a split with the one done this afternoon. Bottom of the third tied at one. Sammy Sosa off Oral Hershiser loops a shot into the center field. Lance Johnson gives the Cubs a two to one lead. Same score in the fifth when Sosa comes up again. They're going nuts for Sammy. This time facing Hershiser. Knows he's two behind McGuire, but a pitch up and he smashes it towards the greenery in center and it goes. His 49th of the year tying him for second in a single season on the Cubs list and that has fans doing new forms of celebration. He comes out for his curtain call. The Cubs build a four to one lead. By the eighth though, it's down to a run. Two aboard. Charlie Hayes goes with a pitch the other way. Gaps in between Johnson and Sosa. Jeff Kent and Barry Bonds come home. Charlie Hayes will get in ahead of the tag and then get the other hand in despite what Manny Alexander thought. Giants build a 5-4 lead. Same score in the ninth with one out. Henry Rodriguez gets sawed off, but he gets enough of it to get Sosa in with the tying run. Grace is at third. Rob Nen trying to lock it down. Now facing Jose Hernandez. Hernandez goes for a pitch out of the zone, picks it off the plate, and digs it into the right field corner. Grace scores easily. The Cubs win in their last at bat, pulling it out 6-5, to five, the fourth blown save of the year for Nen, and a dramatic win. The Top of the first, the Padres jumping on Smoltzy again. Greg Vaughn ripping one over Michael Tucker's head. That's extra base hit number 70 for Vaughn. That leads the big leads. Drove in three on the night, two on this play. It's 2-0 San Diego. But in the bottom of the first, he's got cat class and he's got cat style. Galarraga, number 39 off Joey Hamilton. The Pods got three in the top half. Braves come back with two in the bottom half. Bottom four, we're tied at four. Hamilton against Walt Weiss, a right. man on it. Weiss slaps it back up the middle. Andrew Jones turning on the Jets, and the Braves have a 5-4 lead. Bottom six, 5-4 Braves. Tucker driving one. Mark Sweeney's out there for Tony Gwynn, who's banged up, and Sweeney brings it back. It's worth another look. That one was out of the tent until Sweeney says, no soup for you. Oh, Top of the seventh, 5-4 Braves. Smoltz has been pulled in favor of John Rocker, the young lefty facing, facing Steve Finley. One on, or rather one out, and two on, and a 6-4-3 double play on one pitch. And the Braves' bullpen is absolutely getting it done. Two and two-thirds scoreless. Tied at one, Chris Carpenter in a bases-loaded one-out jam. Gary D. Sarcina. Lining one to right, it drops in there. Scores Jim Edmond. Sean Green overthrows the cutoff man. Carpenter backing up the play, throws to third to force Garrett Anderson, who thought the ball was caught. Now Tony Fernandez throws to second. Larry Barnett calls Matt Wall back out on a force play. Double play to end the inning. The run doesn't count. But we've got controversy. Wallback did touch second base before returning to first. Terry Collins argues then the force should be off. The run shouldn't count. But as we all know, rule 7.08E states if the force runner after touching the next base retreats for any reason toward the base he had last occupied, the force plays reinstated. He can again be put out if the defense tags the base to which he is forced. It's all clear now. Sixth inning, 4-3 Jays. Carlos Delgado, 8 for 14, 4 homers, 10 RBI. Of course, Albert Bell up with his team down 4-3 in the seventh. Jeff Vicero leaves a fastball up that Bell takes out. His 38th of the year were tied at four. Navarro not very happy. Edgar, well, Griffey used his bat in the bottom of the seventh, goes to right field, and it dies right on the warning track.
No homer. So Key's got to make it. So 4-4 four, four after seven. We go to the eighth. Jay Buhner on first. One out for Russ Davis. Takes Keith Roll deep to right and high off the scoreboard wall. Buhner will score. Davis tries to leg it out for a triple. He's going to score. Here's a throw to He's out. But the RBI counts all the same. The Mariners win it by the score of five to four, snapping a three-game losing streak. Tigers, that's Ricky Henderson. He had a leadoff walk in the first. Rookie Ryan Christensen up. Bryce Flory serves it up. A triple as it goes all the way to the wall. Ricky Henderson can still run. Scores all the way from first to give the A's the 1-0 lead. Christensen on third because he had a triple. Jason Giambi up next. Sends a shot to left. And it's off the bottom of the wall. The A's lead 2-0 before an out is even recorded. And they go on to win it by the score of four to two. Mike Oquist won for the first time in over a month. The ace expo game, huh? <laughs> Bottom of the eighth. Runners on second and third for Chris Widger. Hits one right back off Dave Varis. FP Santangelo, that's Frank Paul to you and me, scores. We're tied at two. Top of the nine, two out. Bases empty for Vinny Castilla. Uget Urbina, usually perfect parfait as a closer. Not on Friday. Number 37 on the air for Castilla. The Rockies win on his circuit by the score of three to two. Yeah, and a fan still a tad bitter. Tanho Park. Pride. Giving his respect to the struggling now. Marlins. Bottom of the third. Greg Zahn Luke against Park. Little line. pop up. Matt you Luke. Matt Luke. Clueless. Behind him. Got behind him. Zahn's going to keep on running. Zahn made it into third, but he was left standing there. And that's okay. Some rich guy will buy the ball club, son, and bring back some players. Top of the sixth score tied at one. Adrian Beltre against Levon Hernandez. This one's over the board and left. Dodgers go up 2 1. Beltre. Driving in one there, bottom of the seventh. Hernandez is back now, and Park nailed him. Hernandez had gotten a base hit and, dri and driven in the Marlins' only run of the game. Levon shall not be a happy man. Top of the ninth, two men on, same score. Raul Mondesi. Nothing is eating Raul, but he was eating up that pitch off of Levon. Number 28 of the year for Raul, a three-run job. Hernandez even more unhappy now as the Dodgers win it by a count of 5-1. to one. Park had been winless on the Pirates. Pirates have won four in a row. Lead off man Tony Womack. You know he leads the league in stolen bases. Next hitter is Adrian Brown. He's singles. Got his first RBI of the year. Then here comes Jason Kendall. He's fifth in the league in batting and that home run is number 11. That would put him 41 behind McGuire. Long year for Jack McKeon's team. They're 20 and a half back. Rest of the Pirates lineup. Kevin Young, 91st RBI. That's a career high. Turner Ward doubles. He's the only starter not to score a run, excluding the pitcher. Al Martin, 12th home run. Bill, did you know that Al's Uncle Rod played 12 seasons in the NFL for the Raiders? I did not. Jack McKeon's uncle did not apparently play for the Raiders. Freddie Garcia, 15 of 31 since being recalled. Luke Collier, base not. You get the idea. The Pirates did everything right in this game. Oh, come on and squeeze me. Squeeze me like you do. And they'll get the How about that? The suicide squeeze from Chris Peters, the starting pitcher, and the Pirates won that thing easily. I thought I saw Omar Moreno actually get a hit in that highlight. 14-2 the final. Bucks.